Hey, uh, so Mike in Rochester, he likes when we make fun of uh, the less fortunate, the, the, the waterheads. That seemed to be uh, what he was saying. He gets a big kick out of when anyone makes fun of the less fortunate. Well, uh, recently there was a couple with Down syndrome, and they got married. Oh, that's sweet. Oh. <laughs> oh. I bet you the parents couldn't give the kid away fast enough. <laughs> here, here you Father go. Father even walk down the aisle. He opened the door, pushed her in, and then oh, left. Here you go. Oh, tuck and roll. She's now your responsibility. They don't play the uh, Here Comes the Bride music. It's the Benny Hill music to get it moving quicker. <laughs> They mush the cake on into this face, but it's not on purpose. That's just the way they eat it. <laughs> you know what? Uh, most weddings, like the photographer takes up half the day. Oh. Not in this case. Oh, no. <laughs> One and done. Oh. The bride drools on the cake. <laughs> bride drools on. They play. They have to dance to Daddy's little disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, is there some audio or? Yeah, this is for Mike. I don't know if he's going to like this or hate it, so uh -huh. who knows? If he told us, we wouldn't know. I have no yeah. idea, but a, a couple with Down syndrome, uh, they got married. What do you guys think about this? I think is it's a very nice sweet. I think it's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Then they could, uh, I don't know, have children and uh, have a family and, yeah. and live like normal people. Sure. Maybe one of them will become the president like Bush did. That could happen. Their sure. kids will be very healthy, I'm sure. Can you imagine the electric slide at this wedding? Everyone just banging into each other. <laughs> no rhythm whatsoever. No music, but everybody dancing at the chicken song. The chicken dance. <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. The world hasn't seen many marriages like the one that was uh, prepared. Oh, my God. What is this from? They're taking the serious approach? Yes, Are with you the kidding piano me? and everything. Are you kidding me? I like it. Well, what was this, Daylong? What show was it? 2020. Wow. This DNA <laughs> which, which was both of their <laughs> IQs. <laughs> <laughs> most times it's like uh, the most overheard phrase at a wedding is congratulations. Uh, you got married. That's awesome. Yeah. Here it's, I like chocolate milk. Chocolate oh, milk. Chocolate milk. <laughs> The serious approach. So you Let's the, hear the piano music. The, uh, the announcer, and you got the the, the, the the serious movie music. Yeah. The world hasn't seen many marriages like the one that was prepared for Carrie Bergeron and her fiancé, Sujit Desai. They would have two weddings, Hindu and Christian, so the plan went, and two magical celebrations. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There's a girl that is marrying a retarded Indian boy. Uh, yeah. A retarded Indian boy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Hindu wedding. Wow. I work at a convenience store. I work at a 640. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Wrong numbers. No. 711. Those are the reading ages you are. <laughs> <laughs> Get it right, old slurpy brain. <laughs> <laughs> Their lives are tough enough. Why give them a tough name? Uh, to go through could, life. He could drink a Slurpee as fast as he wants because he can't get brain freeze. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the inside of his skull is just empty with like a little freezer burn like you see inside of a, <laughs> a freezer. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and two magical celebrations. But more importantly, they were bringing their family, a community, their religion, on. and a cause. Sorry, you got to keep interrupting this. Pat from Monaki, I now pronounce you dumb and dumber. <laughs> Very good, Pat. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. We have some awful listeners. Yes, uh, we do. <laughs> Talon, the trucker, what's up? Hey, uh, instead of a limo, when they leave for their honeymoon, it's a short bus of shoes tied to the back end, and every other shoe has a lift on it. <laughs> Great day, uh, Ralphie May. Your chuckle there is funny, also. You guys, good luck. Keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> you chuckle. So let's uh, let's say hi to Max in Dallas. Max. Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, Max. I hope, I hope they get a bunch of mixing bowls so they can have something to cut their hair with. <laughs> <laughs> See? Everybody gets always a box set of Life Goes On. <laughs> it, hey, it's a wonderful thing. Come on. Oh, it, it, it really is, and, and, and to make fun of it like this is yeah, horrid. They'll be good parents. Yeah. They'll be able to relate to their kid. <laughs> yeah, the kid will be teaching them. 
Diaper changing time. He's three months smarter. <laughs> And now we they go. don't realize the funny papers are not the intelligent part of the newspaper. <laughs> they think Marva Duke is an editorial column. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to buy stock in Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dopes. And now we go into the honeymoon suite to see what's going on. Ooh, oh, no. right. <laughs> yeah. He's Not humping a, a pillow in the corner. <laughs> she's she's eating something out of the mini bar without unwrapping it. <laughs> <laughs> what is horrible? Their religions and a cause along with them. A cause that could have kept them apart. I had a hole in my heart, jaundice, a big tongue, and a wobbly head. <laughs> As I got... Wow. Oh, my God. All right. Can you replay that again? I want to make sure I heard everything correctly. I think you did. <laughs> this is too easy, guys. Oh, hold my heart. Oh, my God. We pride ourselves in, At first, in, I thought in, that was like going that. clever. and This is just too it's easy. too easy. Big tongue. This is... Uh, <laughs> Play it again. This man. show's on autopilot today. Oh, yeah. We don't even have to drive. <laughs> you can slobber on the bride. <laughs> I now I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now... Oh, it just updated. Mother. Hold on. Uh, you may now lick the wall. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It would have been better. If been <laughs> I now right. pronounce you man and wife. You may now eat pennies. <laughs> <laughs> With them. A cause that could have kept them apart. I had a hole in my heart, jaundice, a big tongue, and a wobbly head. <laughs> and a what? Jaundice, a big tongue, and a wobbly head? Yeah. That's what a, he hole said. Wobble, a hole in her heart. A hole in her heart. Uh, what else? A hole in her heart, wait, wait. jaundice, a big tongue, and a wobbly head. You bubble headed booby. <laughs> it's like God had a hangover that morning. <laughs> a cause that could have kept them apart. I had a hole in my heart, jaundice, a big tongue and a wobbly head. Ben. As I got older, I also realized that I'm a slow learner. Carrie Bergeron is 29 years old, a young woman with Down syndrome. Technically, it means she was born with an extra copy of a chromosome in her genetic makeup that causes people with Down syndrome to have learning disabilities that can be mild or severe. Heart defects are common. There are also physical symptoms, such as an enlarged tongue that can cause words to sound slurred, and extra folds of skin under the eyes. And by the way, they said learning disabilities that can be severe or mild. Yeah. I've never seen somebody with Down syndrome sound remotely intelligent, <laughs> intelligent ever. As you trip over your own tongue. <laughs> well, he equal as he squared his... Oh. Let's go to Eric in Oklahoma. Eric. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? How about my big, fat-tongued, retard wedding? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh my. Bunch that, of that's, that's just <laughs> not right. <laughs> not, um... Fat Steve, Al. Steve Martin's doing yeah. a movie about it. It's called Father of the Dope. <laughs> <laughs> Still <laughs> They'll be way more entertaining than any of the other movies. Stop laughing at me! Uh, Fat Al. Yeah, I heard they were getting uh, his and her football helmets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm close to punching out. Oh, oh. It's, just, it's so cool. You know, for the wedding gifts, no one's giving them a toaster because they have bathtubs. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Look, another bouncy ball. <laughs> the father would give a toaster and a big long fork. Here you go. Fish around in there when a bagel gets stuck. Or a toaster and goggles. Have fun. Good luck to you. How big is that Indian guy's oh. turban? That's what I want to know. Those <laughs> big-headed bastards. How big is that turban? It's probably a California <laughs> king bedsheet. <laughs> uh, all right, here's the, the second clip. Despite it, being a right? slow learner, exactly. Carrie grew up to speak as an advocate for people with Down syndrome. Yeah. She earned a certificate as a teacher's assistant, and she works as a volunteer aide in this daycare classroom at the New Discoveries Learning Center in New York. But in her teens, she knew there was something missing, and so did her mother. 
Not a chromosome. When she was about 15, I really noticed the loneliness. It was looming big time. And I just could see when her sisters or her brother went off with friends, there was just a look in her eyes as if to say, I wish I could do that. That's not what the look said. Mm. Blank. <laughs> He's crying right now. But then, yeah, but then the loneliness ended when some of the neighborhood boys found alcohol <laughs> and a mattress of the woods. <laughs> Are you nuts? Are you nuts? Oh my god! No. <laughs> the local lacrosse team. <laughs> we got a buzzkill on the line. Mark, Deer Park, what's up? Oh no. Oh, man.